So you're asking how to use your cell phone on a cruise ship? Do you need to buy the internet plan? And how do you avoid expensive cell phone bills due to unwanted roaming charges? These are all great questions and I'm going to answer all of these for you. Plus, give you some money saving tips even if you need to cover multiple devices. So you're going on a cruise and you would like to be able to use your cell phone to make calls. You want to text, you want to check email, access the internet, and so on. Good news is you're smart enough to do your research now before you go. And I'm glad you're here. I will explain all of your options, how to stay connected. I'm going to show you how to get the best price for the ship's internet plan. And I'm going to review exactly how to get your phone in the right mode so there will not be any unwanted charges. Plus, I'm going to give you information on all of your options, how to call home from the ship, even if you don't buy the internet plan. Or how can your family reach you in case of an emergency if you're out in the middle of the ocean somewhere? I'm going to give you all that information too, so stick with me. So unfortunately, your cell phone doesn't connect to your land-based cellular provider like AT&T or Verizon while you're on a cruise ship in the same way it does at home. So you know that unlimited plan that you have for data, for cell calls? It's not going to work. Using your cellular device from a cruise ship can be very costly, and you don't want to end up with these huge bills when you get home. I have seen people come home from cruises and they get their bill a month later and they have all of these charges, hundreds of dollars worth of charges because they didn't do the right thing. The charges when you're calling from a cruise ship can vary due to the underlying technology and the coverage. It does present a unique challenge when communicating at sea. So I'm going to show you a very simplistic animation that I put together and I hope it helps you visualize what's at play. When you're at home and you use your cell phone, your calls bounce to the nearest cell tower. The cell tower converts the signals from your mobile device into a digital format and sends it along to its destination, either to another phone or onto the internet. For incoming calls or data, the process is reversed. This illustration is simplified, but it has many steps and pieces of equipment. The charges are billed by your cellular provider based on the calling plan you have with them. I've named this land-based cellular calling. There are no traditional land-based cell towers while you're at sea. This means your phone will not pick up a regular signal once you sail away from shore. Instead, your phone will rely on satellite connections to connect to the outside world, even in remote areas of the ocean. Making calls from a cruise ship can be significantly more expensive than making calls from land. Calls made from a cruise ship are typically billed on a per minute basis and rates can range from a few dollars to several dollars per minute and you could quite possibly be charged for international and or satellite roaming fees, depending on your cellular provider. I'm a visual learner, so I hope that helps some of you gain a better understanding about what goes on behind the scenes when you're making those phone calls at home and at sea. As soon as you get on the ship, you're going to want to put your cell phone in airplane mode and leave it there throughout your entire trip. This is going to restrict that cellular data from being received by your device, including calls, emails, texts, and even push notifications. The reason you want to put it in airplane mode first is because if you turn your cell phone on for any reason and it's not in airplane mode and you're already out in the middle of the ocean, it will immediately start searching and pulling in data, maybe even faster than you can get it set. So just put it on airplane mode and leave it there. It's <laughs> the only thing, I mean, please. So, but by completely unplugging, it isn't always realistic, is it? For one, your cruise line now has an app and you want to use their app when you're cruising because it acts as a daily planner. So you can see what's happening around the ship. You can book your excursions, you can sign up for activities and so on. But you put your cell phone airplane mode and then you connect to the ship's Wi-Fi. Do this for all of your devices. Oh, and don't forget your Apple Watch or other electronics that have cellular capabilities. Put them all in airplane mode. Not sure how? <laughs> Let me show you. 
I just returned from a trip with one of my girlfriends. She is not technology, what do you call it, technology inclined. <laughs> she, I don't know how she even uses her phone, but she didn't know how to do anything. So I have to laugh at her and she does laugh at herself too. So I know you're watching me. So I, I'm talking about you. You know who you are. <laughs> but let me show you how to do this. It's quick and easy. So you're going to go into, let's start with iPhones. Let's do that first. So let's start with iPhone users. Go into your settings. Here's your toggle for airplane mode. Notice it's off. And if you look down to cellular, that is currently on. Tap here so it turns green. And now your phone is in airplane mode. Notice cellular is now also in airplane mode. If you tap on cellular to review more information, you can see cellular data, data roaming. And if you have a hotspot, you want to make sure they're all off. If for some reason they're not, just go ahead and manually toggle them off. One other thing I would like to point out here is Wi-Fi calling. If you buy the ship's Wi-Fi plan, turn this on. This is going to allow you to make and receive calls using the ship's Wi-Fi. If you have a Samsung phone, the steps are pretty much the same. It might vary a little bit depending on the model, but you'll go to settings, find connections, and turn on airplane mode. You're going to see Wi-Fi calling here as well. Now that you have a general idea how the ship to shore communication works and how to put your phone in airplane mode, how exactly do you make calls, check emails, texts without getting the huge bill at the end of your vacation? Well, let's take a look at your ship's internet plan. They have plans that you pay for. These plans provide a daily rate so you can connect to the ship's Wi-Fi, allowing you to use your cellular phone in almost the same way you do when you're at home, albeit a little more pricey than your home cellular plan. I'm going to go over a few of them and show you how to pay less, especially on one popular cruise line. Once your cruise is booked, you can pre-purchase the internet to use on the ship. Let's talk about Royal Caribbean and Carnival's internet options. If you're cruising with Royal Caribbean, the Wi-Fi plan is called Voom, Surf and Stream. Here's what's included. 24-hour access to the internet while at sea. You can browse the web, send and receive emails, and chat on Messenger apps. You can stream your favorite shows, music, TV shows, and more. You can make video calls, live stream, and post to social media. Also, if you are one of the lucky ones that are visiting Perfect Day at Coco K, <laughs> the Voom Surf and Stream is also available throughout the island. So there's no need to worry about an international plan here on Coco K. Let me show you how to buy this plan in a way that's going to save you some money. As I'm getting logged in the RoyalCaribbean.com, please hit the like button if you find this information helpful so far and subscribe if you want to enjoy cruising content. I try to put together a new video every week. Okay, here we are. I've logged into my Royal Caribbean account online and I've accessed my cruise planner. From the cruise planner, I selected internet. The cost of Voom varies per sailing and also by the number of devices for each person that you select. For example, if I select Tracy and I select one device, Tracy can use the Wi-Fi plan on one device at a time. So if Tracy has a cell phone and she also has a laptop, she can log off of Voom from her cell phone and log back on Voom with her laptop. So this allows her to use multiple devices while she's traveling, just not at the same time. Okay. Again, both devices will stay on airplane mode. You may or may not have a cellular plan on your laptop, but if you do, put it on airplane mode. Here you can see the Voom package is on sale for 25% off. I recommend that you purchase the Voom package pre-cruise to get the biggest discount. Trust me, you're going to pay more when you get on board. If you happen to see that price drop from what you purchased it for, just cancel it and repurchase it. You'll get a refund. It takes about 10 days, but you'll get the money savings by purchasing at the lower price.
Now, if Tracy needs to stay connected to multiple devices at the same time, she would select the appropriate amount of devices. For example, Tracy needs to work while on her cruise. She needs to be able to use her cell phone and she needs to be able to use her laptop to connect to her job's website at the same time. So she needs to select two devices. She is now getting 30% off the rate because she is using multiple devices at one time. So Royal Caribbean gives you a discount when you do that. She does not need to log off her cell phone in order to use her laptop. Once on board, she'll connect to the ship's Wi-Fi. She'll select Voom and she will be prompted to set up a username and password. If her cabin mate also wants the Voom plan, she would select both people and one device. This means they're both going to set up their own username and password with Voom. They could both use their cell phones at the same time or other devices as previously explained when you select one device. This is the way Royal Caribbean has intended for this to work. However, let me share with you a big money saving opportunity. Trust me on this one. I use this method when I cruise. Both Tracy and Carrie want the Voom package just for one device. Instead of selecting each person with one device, select one person with two devices. Look at the price difference. The only thing that's going to be different when you set up your Voom is decide together on a username and password because you're both going to use the same login. But you will be able to connect to your devices at the same time. If Tracy uses her cell phone, it's not going to kick Carrie off. They can both log in at the same time. It's just they're both using the same username and password. What's wrong with that? <laughs> My dog is down here making noises. <laughs> so you can thank me later or you can thank me now. Go ahead in the comments. Say thank you, Barb. No. <laughs> so it's very confusing. I see this question over and over and over on Facebook. People are confused about should they pick one person's name or do they need to pick everybody in their party? I'm telling you, I do this with my family of four. So here's what I do. I pick myself with four devices. I set up the username and password and then I give it out to my husband and my kids. My kids are in different state rooms. It still works. Doesn't matter. It's not going to kick them off when I log in. Everybody's online for four, four you know, just think four devices. Now, if I added a fifth device because I brought my laptop and my cell phone, then it's going to kick one of us off because I'm, I'm adding in a fifth device. Okay. And of course, when you get on board and you connect to the Voom, put yourself in airplane mode. We already talked about that and how important that is. If you don't remember anything else today, remember the airplane mode is important. Okay. Here's a tip to benefit from faster speeds faster Wi-Fi speeds, turn off background app data if you have that set for any updates. If you don't want to buy the internet plan, you still have another option. So you can make those ship to shore calls like we showed in the animation from your stateroom 24 hours a day, but the cost is $7.95 US dollars per minute and you will be automatically charged to your CPAS account. Now these are prices of, as of April 6th, 2024. Your friends and family can contact the ship by calling 888-724-7447. Or from outside the U.S., they can call 321-953-9003. That is also charged at $7.95 at U.S. dollars per minute and can be charged to their MasterCard or Visa. From outside the U.S. though, additional long distance charges will also apply. You can also use onboard internet cafes. Some ships still have them. 
stateroom internet connections or hotspots to send emails to your friends or family are charged at a minimal fee. Just check with your ship for those rates. Try to decide before you leave if you want or need internet service. It's always cheaper to buy before you go than once you're on board. Also, if you're a Crown and Anchor member, you will get a discount or even free internet based on your status, as well as those that are part of Club Royale. That's the casino benefits. So these discounts are only available if you're purchasing while you're on the ship. So you can't get them ahead of time, unfortunately, but many times you will still pay less by purchasing before you sail using the regular discounts that they're offering everyone else. Unless you just need it for one day, then it makes sense. Keep in mind, Voom is for use while you're at sea, but it, let's say you get off in Mexico. International rates from your cellular carrier whoever that is, will apply. Maybe you have a cellular international plan, then you're probably covered. Unless you keep yourself in airplane mode, go find a free Wi-Fi cafe, and then you can still use your Wi-Fi calling. Just exercise caution when you use a free Wi-Fi in ports, because you want to avoid accessing any personal accounts or sensitive data on any unsecured network, even when you're back at home. Another good tip is before you get off, ask a crew member on the ship if they have a recommendation for a place at port that offers free Wi-Fi calling. They usually know the best spots because they have to pay for internet on the ship. So most of them can't afford it. So they wait till they get, you know, time and they can go out and roam around the ports, so they probably know the better spots to go. So ask them. Let's talk about Carnival. So Carnival Cruise Lines offer several different internet plans, and they cater to everybody's needs. They're a little confusing, I won't lie. The first time I sailed with, with them since they've updated their internet plans, I was a little unsure at first which ones to be picking, but I'm gonna cover all of them with you, and you can decide what plan is right for you. Their first plan, the most inexpensive plan is called the social Wi-Fi plan. This plan is for those who only want to connect to social media. It includes Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn. Oh, and you can connect to some airline websites. It does not include access to email, video music streaming services. It doesn't like Netflix, Hulu, Spotify, Pandora, none of that. It does not include iMessage. So if you have an iPhone and your family back home has an iPhone, that's not gonna work, not on this social plan. It also doesn't include FaceTime. So you can see the prices here. Um, again, they're subject to change because depending on when you're watching this video, today is March 6th, for example. Right now, pre-cruise, they've got a little sale going on. It's $15.30 per day, per person. Let's talk about the value Wi-Fi plan. If you need just a little more capability, the Wi-Fi plan offers everything the social plan does. Plus, it offers news and entertainment, but not including streaming sites. You can get to sports websites, weather, banking, and financial websites. You can also post and upload pictures. It does not support Skype or video and music streaming at all. So no Netflix, Hulu, Spotify, Pandora. It does not include Wi-Fi calling or FaceTime. And the, you know, it's a couple more dollars to think this right now is about 1955 per day per person. Here's their best plan. So premium Wi-Fi. This is the plan I got myself, and maybe I didn't really need it. I'm I'm the kind of person, I'd rather be safe than sorry, so I just get it, and it's just a few dollars more. But anyway, this plan provides everything the social plan provides, plus the value plan, and it provides a connection speed that's five times faster. So you're on a different Wi-Fi system than the other ones. You can also turn off your background app data services again, and speed it up even more if you find that it's slow. But here you're gonna be able to do email, 
and video. So you, it does support Skype and Teams if you need to get on a meeting where coverage allows. Sometimes based on where you are in the ocean and where that satellite is, it might be a little spotty. Um, I have found on occasion, not on Carnival though, on this last Carnival cruise, I always had internet. I didn't have any like dead zones, if you will, where I wasn't connected. Um, other ships I have experienced that and I noticed that if I went and you know outside my cabin for example I was getting a better signal or on my balcony maybe I was getting a better signal so you'll start to notice if that happens to you just if you're there working and you really need to stay connected try to find those locations so anyway it does so it supports Skype and Teams video calling Netflix Netflix is only available with the premium Wi-Fi calling plan if you're on the Carnival Vista, the Horizon, or the Sunrise, as of the time of this video. Okay, so if you're on Netflix, you can go to your account and watch all your favorite shows. If you're on any other Carnival ship right now, you're not getting to Netflix. Okay. It does not support video streaming and music streaming. Again, I don't know why, but Hulu, Spotify, Pandora, not gonna work. Netflix, again, unless you're on the Vista Horizon or Sunrise, it does not support Wi-Fi calling and FaceTime. And I can attest to that because I tried to make a Wi-Fi call home on the last Carnival cruise. Even with this plan, it wouldn't work. It does work on Royal Caribbean because I do it all the time on Royal Caribbean. The price for this one is about $21.25 per day per person. So, you know, $5 more and you get a little bit more with what you're able to do. Not everybody wants to stay connected. I appreciate that. I used to just throw my stuff in the safe, like I mentioned earlier, and I was off limits. Like nobody could find me for a week. I loved it. <laughs> but now a lot of times I'm traveling either solo or, you know, with a friend and my husband's at home and the kids are at home. So I just need to be, I guess, available for them if need be or if I need to check on something, make sure they're feeding the dog, for example, because sometimes they don't feed the dog. No, I'm kidding. They do feed the dog, but I want to make sure they're feeding the dog. Okay. There's one last thing, and you're not going to see this on Carnival's website, but if you only need their internet for a short amount of time, you can get something they call a 24-hour pass. Okay. This, um, you can get it for the value plan and the premium plan. And you can only purchase this once you get on the ship. The cost of the 24 hour plan is slightly higher than the daily rate of the continuous plan, but it does reflect the convenience and the flexibility that it offers. So at this time, Carnival does not have the ability to add multiple devices to the plan. Like we were talking about Royal and how I could save money there, but you can use multiple devices by signing off of one and signing in with the other one. You just can't use them at the same time. Okay. If you don't want to buy the internet plan, you still have another option. Ship to shore. <laughs> Though it's expensive, you can use the ship's telecom. Um, they offer direct dialing via satellite from all of your stateroom telephones. This is a 24 hour day service, regardless of where the ship is located. This service closes on the final day of your cruise at 4 a.m. So during that time, you're not gonna have that option. The rate's $1.99 a minute, and charges are billed to your sale and sign card. And since communication is via satellite, the charges apply to all calls, including calling card calls, credit card calls, 800 toll-free numbers, and collect calls. Side note, the rate also applies when the ship is visiting Europe as well. Parents can request for ship to shore connection be deactivated. <laughs> That's a good idea. By contacting the onboard guest services desk. You don't want your little one running up to the phone like they do at home and just dialing because <laughs> you don't know who they're going to get and you don't know how much money it's going to cost you. So if you don't need that option, go ahead and have them disable that. Calls are charged to the first guest listed on your reservation. So if your name's the first name on your reservation, you're getting the bill. <laughs> Information and instructions can be found on your ship's directory, which is located in your stateroom for Carnival. Carnival does not offer direct dialing to their ships. 
So there's no emergency phone number, if you will, to give to somebody that can reach you directly. But in the event of an emergency back home, family can contact Carnival's call center. Here's their number. It's 800-227-6482. And they're open Monday through Sunday, 7 a.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. What happens is their customer service will take down your name and your contact information or your family's name and contact information. They'll pass it on to guest services that are on board. They'll get in touch with you that way. Thanks for hanging in there. We covered a lot today. I mean, if you're here at the end, you know the difference between land calling and ship to shore calling. You know how to put yourself on airplane mode, no matter what kind of phone you have. And you know the plans for both Royal Caribbean and Carnival. So hopefully you can make a really good decision about what's gonna work best for you and your family while you're on your next cruise. No unwanted phone bills when you get home and everything's gonna be wonderful. You're gonna have a fantastic cruise. I don't know if you could hear my dog the entire time. I've been trying to explain this for you guys, but she is just running around here. Let me grab her. I got two of them. I'm gonna, te I'm gonna show you. This is my big girl. So this is Bella. Bella, say hi. Say, I'm 14 years old and I get really sad when mommy goes on her cruises. And I do miss her. I wish I could bring her. I have one more I'll show you. Okay, this is my man Cooper. <laughs> He's my little love bug. And if he could climb in my suitcase, he would be there in a heartbeat. So say, thanks for joining mama's channel and press that like button and subscribe so you can see more of our beautiful little faces. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend or week. If you're tuning in early in the morning or in the afternoon, thanks for joining. And until we meet again, happy sailing. Bye.